Number one says select all solutions to the equation x squared equals seven. Um, so remember that a solution means that you can plug it in and both sides will be equal. So if we take um, square root of seven and we t times it by itself, because that's what squared means, square root seven times square root seven equals seven. So both sides are equal. So this is a solution. Negative square root seven times negative square root seven. A negative times a negative is a positive, And then square root seven times square root seven is also seven. So this is going to be a true statement as well. 49 times 49 is certainly going to be larger than 7. Um, so both of these are not solutions. Number two, find the solution or solutions to each of the equations if there are any. So for this one, x squared equals 9. We are going to do the square root of both sides. And remember, when you do the square root, there's a plus and a minus solution. Um, so this is going to be x equals plus or minus, and then square root of 9 is 3. So positive 3 squared is 9, and negative 3 squared is also 9. So both of these are solutions. Part B, we have the square root of x equals 3. So the opposite of square rooting is squaring. So we're going to square both sides. So then the square root of x squared is just x. And then 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. So your solution to this one is x equals 9. So the square root of 9 is 3. And then part C, um, the square root of x equals negative 3. There is no solution to this because a square root cannot equal a negative number. Okay, so anytime you have a square root, it has to equal a positive number. So this one has no solutions. You can think back to um, in this lesson when you looked at the graph of a square root function. So remember the graph of a square root function looks like this. And so the domain is equal to positive numbers or numbers that are not negative because zero can go in. Um, and the range is also equal to um, positive numbers, including zero. So if you ever have something, where is this solution equal to negative three? It's never. Number three, if C is a positive number, how many solutions does X squared equal C have and explain? So it's going to have two solutions. And the solutions are going to be... Um, square root of c because square root of c times square root of c is going to equal c and then the other solution is also going to be the negative root of c because negative root c times negative root c is also going to equal positive c if c is a positive number how many solutions are there to this one and that's just going to be one solution um, because remember the square root of x equaling c means that c times c will equal this number and there's only one solution to c squared because that number is just going to be times itself um, so c squared is the only solution here number four suppose that a friend missed class and never learned what 37 to the one third means use your exponent rules that your friend would already know to calculate um, 37 to the one third to the third power so remember, that means it's going to be 37 to the one-third times itself um, three times. And so your friend would know the rule that states that if we have the same base, we can just add the exponents together. So we would have one-third plus one-third plus one-third, and that's going to equal to one. So 37 to the one-third to the third power is just going to be one. So that means that that number times itself three times equals that base. So anything times itself three times that equals to a number is equal to the cube root. So that's the definition of the cube root. A number times itself three times that equals it will be the cube root. Number five, evaluate eight to the five thirds. 
Um, so we know that having a three in the bottom of the fraction, you can put it as the root. So we can do the third root or the cube root of eight and then to the fifth power. And I'm just going to put that five outside here because I know the cube root of eight because I know that one times one times one is one. And I know that two times two times two is eight. So the cube root of eight is just two. So this is two and then to the fifth power. So that's just going to be two times itself five times. So two times two is four times two is eight times two is 16 times two is 32. So eight to the five thirds power is equal to 32. And then number six, write an expression without, write each expression without using exponents. So again, um, this three on the bottom will be the third root of five and then squared. And this time they don't want any exponents. So now I'm gonna leave the squared in with the five so that I can actually do five times five, which is 25. So this is gonna be the cube root of 25. Now this one has a negative exponent. So the first thing I'm gonna do is write it as the reciprocal um, with a positive exponent. So we're gonna bring it to the bottom with a positive exponent. Then two on the bottom means a square root and then a four to the third. So we know that we can put this cube wherever we want. If we want it with the four or we want it outside of the parentheses or outside of the root, which is where I want it because I know the square root of four and the square root of four is just two. And then I can do two cubed, which is just two times two times two. So two times two is four times two is eight. So this one equals one eighth.